knew that that would be a sign of the future, that we would all start using Zoom to build relationships and get to know each other and do business and uh, create strategies and, and products, et cetera, without ever having to leave the comfort of our home. I mean, I think Eric is a, a true visionary and somebody who has really um, helped society in a meaningful way cope with some of the challenges that come with COVID and the lockdowns and quarantines associated with us. And as the whole world has started to live and work and learn online, I don't think there is a leader or a company that's made a bigger impact than Eric. So Eric, we're thrilled to have you. Thank you for joining PagerDuty again today. Thank you, Jen. Thank you for having me. And I uh, truly appreciate it. Again, I'm a very happy Peter Duty customer. I'm a huge fan of you and Peter Duty. That's why I so uh, truly enjoy you know, uh, for having me. Thank you. But what does take the lead for, for you mean? First of all, you dare to be. That's the one thing very important because you do not want to lead at all, right? That's the problem. So if you dare to lead, you see meaning more like, you know, I set up a goal, right? I want to lead. And even if that might be failed, but that's okay, right? This is a courage. It's very important. That's the number one. Number two is because you want to lead, you know, for sure you are going to, you know, experience all kinds of hurdles, issues, you know, problems, right? You know, probably totally unexpected. But as long as you know that and fix that, you know, patiently, that should be okay. You know, you never get there to lead something, you know, over the night. You want to do, you want to try, have courage. And then also have a, a sort of a mentality, you know, there, there will have lots of problems. But as long as I keep fixing all those problems, sometimes all those problems will be gone. Then you take the lead. Then you, then you are going to lead. That's the way I look at this. So shifting gears a little bit, um, since you are the, the official Zoom master, what have you learned in terms of how to, how to engender trust and build relationships and collaborate over Zoom? Because you were getting really good at Zooming with your colleagues and your family and friends well before everybody else you know, made it mainstream. What, what are some of your tips for how to build relationships over video? Yeah, yeah, Jen, you are so right on. I think the trust is, uh, is indeed everything. That's the foundation. So at Zoom, and whenever we hire a senior executive, they have to you know, buy a book, Speed Up Trust. The author is uh, Stephen Curry, right? So, you know, with all the trust, then no speed. And especially, you know, I gave one example. Early days, you know, the head of marketing realized the problem from uh, sales. They do not want to share. It's, oh, that's a sales problem. This is a supporter problem. It's not my problem. Why do I want to bother to share with others? Because no trust. My trust is everything, right? No trust, no speed. So at Zoom, and we, almost every time we, we talk, about the, talk about the trust, right? How to build a trust, you know, between the management team, between the senior executives, and also most important thing is between Zoom and our employees with our customers. So that that's you know very important. So we we try to demonstrate, you know, those are good examples how to build a trust with the customers. As you mentioned earlier, like we always, no matter what we do, we always make mistakes, but don't cover up any mistakes. Always saying customer very smart. Do you have a good <laughs> very smart? Do you have a good intention? Do you, are you willing to fix the problem? Are you willing to listen to their feedback? They will know that. Thank you, Eric, so much for being with us. I can't think of a more inspiring leader, somebody who works so hard himself to deliver a great product and keep his customers happy and employees happy. And we're we're thrilled for your success and thrilled to be part of your journey and under in your journey. And we just appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to share what you've learned and, and uh, you've really inspired us today. So thank you very much.